Welcome to Good Things and welcome to the week. We're so glad to have you join us today. It is Sunday and uh, we are here bright and early. Is we are here. I know. It is the 18th of March. Um, we have two days until the first day of spring. Um, so I'm really Yay. hoping it warms up. Finally. Like a little bit. Although Praise they the said Lord. probably not until like the so beginning of next month. Two, is it Tuesday is the first day of spring, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. What is the weather forecast for Tuesday? Cold. Snow, actually. <laughs> So, I mean, it wouldn't that's be what spring Virginia looks like if you for didn't us. get snow. No, you have to have something. We haven't had one snow, though. No, no we don't real. need it. It, was, it snowed like a couple of days ago. Snow Random. is so romantic. Oh, it snowed yesterday. Yeah. It just, you know. It, it just that, didn't stay. That not it doesn't snow. count, though, because no, of the non-accumulation. I agree. If it's yeah, going to snow, it needs to, like, put people out of their jobs and out of school right. for, like, a week. Otherwise, so you stay why? stay in bed, right? Exactly. Or you yeah. can play in the snow. Yeah, yeah, well... Almost there, but not quite. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be ready. And uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up, uh, we will be out of the studio for a couple of weeks. Two Going weeks. on a hiatus. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got some work to do. But we're also, uh, we're going to be out next week because we are doing a, uh, a fabulous kind of re-up. We can't wait uh, for you guys to see the product. And uh, we got a, a, a lot of fun things uh, coming coming forth from good things. And, and Next Sunday's Easter. And then the following Sunday is Easter, so we won't be here. We're going to be in I church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be, I'll be on the couch with my dog. <laughs> and my husband and be like, what are you, what are you cooking? He we'll get a text from Leia. What y'all yeah, doing? I hope church. he does cook. Because when I come home from church, I'm coming to your house and I expect oh breakfast. Leia Gerald, I expect Easter breakfast. Easter dinner. I could. We Easter could. brunch. We could. Easter something. That would be so fun. That's so And fun. you know, we actually wouldn't cook it, though. We'd go get it from DC Vegan because okay. they're the best I, I, yeah. ever. That's okay. Uh, it's okay, though. It's all right. Yeah, because why, why recreate an amazing thing that I don't have to do? <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, that a plan? Yep, that's it. Okay. Book. Perfect. I'll we're booked and busy on Easter. Oh, I think he probably knows right now. Jay, Thanks, we're coming Jay. for Easter. Yeah, I wouldn't even so, ask. Just letting you he's know. He's probably still... <laughs> you know, he... Uh, so, we found out through the... Um, Oh, 23 and Me DNA thing, right? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So his whole oh life, he's been telling everyone he's French. Oh he looks French. Oh, is he the commercial? Oh he, he's not French. Not he's at like, all. He's like almost 50% Irish. So yesterday, he got this brilliant idea, like, let's go out and celebrate our heritage. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and so now he's at home recovering from celebrating his newfound like, heritage. Woo -woo. Yeah. Right, right? He's like, I have another yeah. reason to party. Yeah. This is great. It's mm -hmm. crazy. His last name is Rushlow, and he's not French. It's spelled... I mean, like he's French. got European in him, so there's French, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, that 2% Jewish, you know, that though, last they really name nailed that. Nothing. I, we sure don't. Mm -hmm. We know this. We know this. Well, yeah. we have so much coming up for you today, so and uh, we are excited to bring it all to you, mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that you all are having a really great week thus far. Um, I'm a little bit exhausted. You tired? You had yeah. a rough week, yeah. though. It was a long week. Um, my and baby girl. You did good, mommy. Come here. <laughs> you did good. We're proud of you. I know who's not a baby. Um, she's eighteen, That's but your baby forever. She is. She is. She is um, your first. She yeah. is my first, and she's off. Um, actually, on a school trip right now in Ghana. And hi, Jen. Uh, hi, Jen. Hey, I know Jenny. She, she's I not should... watching. No. So she's you not. <laughs> you sent the picture last night, and I'm looking at the picture. And at first, because I knew you guys were at the um at the oh, game. Oh, the game last night. So Go like, Wizards! Okay, they won. A bunch of random people outside the game and then I realized it was Jen and so I'm looking at the picture and Logan's looking at it and he's like that's Jenny yeah. <laughs> oh, that and you Jenny. know it, it, and it's so funny because um my mom saw the picture she's like oh so professional or no it was my sister she was like so professional I was like you know she looks so serious so of course she's over there and the school has her filming um some stuff while they're there and she's there for uh the next eight days and uh but yeah it was a long weekend so of course I stayed up like all night mm -hmm. uh Aww. Friday morning into Saturday because I you know mom had to stay up and watch the flight tracker and make sure they made it safely and make sure everybody <laughs> lands okay so they uh arrived at about a little before 3 a.m. Um, Eastern time here, 7 a.m. in Ghana. And so, uh, so yeah, it was a long thing. But 
You haven't had much sleep. Yeah, they're there. Um, they've got. <laughs> they're a, having a great. They're time. having a great time. Yeah. Um, they've got a really, really busy um, itinerary, itinerary for the next eight days, and so uh, we can't wait to just kind of see. And it's really kind of nice because their school actually has a Twitter account for the ESWs, oh, and so cool. they are just constantly posting. posting. So anything, yeah, that the teacher chaperones that are there, um, they're taking pictures of all of their That's activities cool. and everything, and posting so we can all keep up. That's so, perfect. Yeah, so it's a lot. And of fun. she'll come back with lots of memories and stories it's definitely lifetime and you will get emotional and jen will tell them as if she's like you right. know reading the bible right <laughs> <laughs> she's very low key low key but we miss her she's also our uh, editor and videographer and so our uh, really our everything everything yeah and so. we promise we won't try and edit anything while you're gone no no she'll be like <laughs> i didn't do that that is not mine. <laughs> it's not my work. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been great. But they have actually been really sweet, as, as always. They're they're my sisters too. We can, and, we're texting like yes. Hi, we're just checking on you, boo. How, How you doing? doing? <laughs> You okay? I, was I like, called I'm you here. like, sorry, I missed your call. I'm like, it's all right. I was yeah. just I was picking up my little guy again. from school. I think I was like still in the garage. And I was like, oh, I missed it. She's like, I'm just checking. You all right? And I was like, yeah. Speaking of checking on you, so we were, we got, Leigh and I got ready together. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Juliet. She did our I makeup this morning. I know, you're looking morning. extra pretty today. Can't wait you to meet you. also look amazing. Kanosha, can't Thanks. wait to meet you. Mm-hmm. You'll slay her face like you slayed our face. She's amazing. She's uh, great. At Juliet, M-U-A underscore Yay. on uh, IG. Check her out. She will hopefully be our new contracted makeup artist for a good thing. We're, we're working so on some come. things. Yeah. So, but no, so we were getting ready together and I got a FaceTime call at <laughs> Leia's house oh. <laughs> from was you. you. Oh, was it? So oh. I answered thinking like, because this Something was like. Something was wrong? Well, just, yeah. I'm right. like, why is she FaceTiming? Because we're, she's, we're getting ready to get in the car. Like she should we be in should the car. Be driving. <laughs> so I answer the phone and, and it's, it's probably my son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, where's Logan? He's calling like, her son. Sill's like, oh, you can't, like, they need to go. They're getting ready to leave. They're on our way to the studio. I'm like, I guess we won't see y'all there. No, so, no. They're yeah. at home. They're at home. Yeah. They, we they, all check on each other. Yeah, all the time. We're, all the time. Yeah, just, Jay was like, bye, family. but I'm not really going to miss you because I'm going to lay in my pajamas all day. <laughs> and, and you're going to be gone all day. All day. And all then day. we have the Justin Timberlake concert tonight, which I'm so excited yes. about. But, I mean, I will have been up for... I don't know. Oh, wow. A long time. Well, time and she'll we give there. us a report on that. You're going to take oh some, uh, some, yeah. some live take footage notes. Yeah. and stuff. We can get a little bit gonna, of that when we I'm come back. I'm going to show you the not cheap seats that we got. There you go. There and you then go. you're going to tell JT to come on the show, right? Right. Of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was the whole point in getting my makeup done. I mean, who else do I want to look good for? <laughs> my husband? <laughs> You You didn't hear that, Jay. You didn't hear that, Jay. I'm just kidding, baby. It's for you. It's all right. It's all right. Well, we have so much to share with you, and we are going to do that right now but uh well not really as soon as we come back we're gonna do take a little break little break (laughs) come right back and uh we'll get started Welcome back to Good Things, and uh, we want to, again, thank uh, the beautiful and uh, fashion-forward and just fun place to be, uh, Carlisle, et cetera. Ugh. Yes. I want to go there today. <laughs> they are I want to go there every day. They're so great. Lara, thank you so much for all of your support and for everything um, that you have, uh, that you've done for us, and we we love that we got a chance to, to meet mm-hmm. her and just kind of be a part of 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 Carlisle, um, we love promoting them because hopefully just a we'll great get place. to do their fashion show again next year. I think we have a little behind the scenes, never before seen footage. We right? do, we do. From we Carlisle. have a little bit of that, and so I think well, we had it on our Facebook. We did a Facebook live. We did a yep. Facebook live, yep. and we probably need to go back out there and do some more. But they are actually um, located, um, I guess. 
well, I guess that would be right out 270. Yeah, um, Clarksburg. And Clarksburg, it's Clarksburg mm-hmm. um, outlets. And yep. so not too far, um, probably about maybe, I would say maybe about 10 miles outside of Rockville, if that, maybe mm-hmm. eight. That's and really close. Yeah, yeah, it's not too far, but they've got some really great shopping. Clarksburg uh, Outlet Mall is great, but go to Carlisle, et cetera. You, you won't regret it. It's a really no, great place. Your husband so might we, regret it. <laughs> a little bit. Leah, you made a good point like about their fashion show because last year... I did a little yes. cameo mm-hmm. on the runway, yep. but I think the three of us should all walk the runway. So, yeah. Laura, we're going to yeah. call you. and We're going to call you. We'll talk about we'll that. We'll get that set up. We'll we do will. something fun. I mean, we've got to show everybody their new spring stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I of mean, our, I'm already obviously wearing uh, one of their dresses yes. for interview. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Yes. For the upcoming pageant. pageant. Yes. But yes. Oh, and just so, so just to remind you, um, this one right here, Mrs. Yeah. DuPont Circle DC 2018, will be competing in the Mrs. DC America pageant that will be taking place on April 14th. And... Uh, we're going to root for this one Be right rooting here. for her at the yeah. French Embassy. <laughs> right. Killing yes. it. Yes. Yeah, so we may um, or may not, Kenosha and I, be wearing blonde wigs. Right. During the <laughs> event. <laughs> Just in well, solidarity. Well, Kelly's already halfway there, so. I mean. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're I waiting for like... her to wrap up some stuff <laughs> yeah, uh, with gosh. her uh, with her job. Yes. She does work for the government, and so we have to uh, wait till she's done. But we'll be keeping up with Kelly. Keeping up with Very, Kelly. very, very soon. Oh. Y'all are going to enjoy that so much. Yes. She is like she the funniest person. She wrote on the person. float uh, in Chicago for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, yesterday. she did. Yeah. She did. I, I don't, I'm just waiting to. I was like, just hold it. She was like, do you want to know about? I was like, nope. Just, yeah, just, just tell mm-hmm. us later. Just, yeah. Just tell us later. It's going to be a blast. However, you know. Talking about events and things that are happening around the mm-hmm. nation, yeah. um, there's some pretty random stuff going on. I know we hear the news every day, um, and you know whether you're watching local news, CNN, MSNBC, mm-hmm. whatever your Facebook take. Facebook news. <laughs> right, whatever. <laughs> you get your dose of randomness yeah. no matter whatever. where you get it from, right? right? Exactly. But there's some really weird, Some well, maybe weird to you, maybe not to other people. It's weird uh, to us. <laughs> And very random Mm -hmm. and very random things happening. And so we figured that we'd give you a little bit of an update from uh, the last week or two on, uh, you know, the weekly randomness that has been going on uh, across the nation. And, uh, you know, some people, I just think, take things too far. (laughs) <laughs> what do you mean? You know, or they just don't really think it through very well. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I and I like to maybe think it's the latter. Oh, uh-oh. Kind of We're stuff. breaking, breaking things. Stuff. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. But, um, you know, this story, you know, I, I'm sure you guys have maybe heard on the Game Show Network, there's a show called Cash Cap, right? Which I love. And I would never win any cash in it. <laughs> oh, But I love the cap. show. Cash Cap. Okay. You've However, never seen it? Mm-mm, never no. heard of it. It's a fun. It's a fun little show. It's you can great. check it out. YouTube it. However, this it story look. is what I'd like to call the real cash cab. So apparently, um, last Thursday, the police say that a 19-year-old Indiana man uh, took a cab to and oh from gosh. a bank robbery. Oh my gosh! I mean, you guys laugh, but I worked at a bank where someone took a cab. <laughs> To, the, to rob the yeah, bank? Yeah. But here we go. So, But the thing is, he paid the driver with some of the stolen cash. So, oh, my gosh. <laughs> his name was uh, Derek Faria. And, uh, of course, he was arrested less than an hour after the robbery. Probably. And, uh, this all happened um, around Evansville, Indiana. And uh, they are reporting that, basically, um, he passed the teller a note <laughs> demanding the money and the most uh, effective way to rob a bank <laughs> of course let me slide this but yeah. that he did not have a weapon he didn't show a weapon <laughs> oh um and then jumped in the cab and paid the guy and said take me to wherever he was ready to go to oh my god so i have to tell you guys the story because it is so very me that this happened to me <laughs> So you know I was a bank teller at one point. Mm-hmm. Pretty much had every job in the bank at this point except president. And uh, no, it's I, coming. No, it's coming. I, I don't want it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen a person who takes a presidential job? It ages them like this twenty is true. years. This, this is, is true. very Way true. Too vain to be president. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, anyways, Stop. so I was probably nineteen at the time, working as a teller, and my shift was almost over, mm-hmm. and I was counting on my drawer and blah blah blah, and there were still other people that were working the rest of the day. And I had a guy walk up to my window and he passed me a note and I was like, Shh, I'm out of here, buddy. And I passed it back to him oh while gosh. it was a note to rob them. So I passed it back to rob the girl next to me. 
<laughs> well, she's not going to cooperate. Let me go no. to the next. Right. Yeah. And he was so surprised. What? Like, the look on his face. <laughs> what? <laughs> And Why aren't you scared? Yeah, that, I, that lady did not Leia. like me. This was yeah. the one. This was the one for that to happen to. Yeah. You know, and and the thing is, is that we know that probably lots of randomness like this happens through the nation, yep. like all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. However, you know, I think it just still boggles my mind. But yeah. you know what? If you got this, is not the worst of it. There's, there's more. No, no, no yeah, there's yeah. definitely more. Yeah. So we're gonna get into a little regional randomness, okay? <laughs> Minnesota is Tell mad, us, you guys. They're mad. The state of Minnesota is mad. So apparently the star of The Bachelor broke up with this most recent uh, winner, and she happens oh, to be a yes. native of Minnesota. Minnesota got so mad that a lawmaker wrote a bill actually banning him from the state. Wait, he can't, he can't go. He, he can't. is banned from Minnesota. So his name is Ari, if you guys don't know him. He's the latest star of TV's The Bachelor. And he was actually a contestant on The Bachelorette during um, Emily Maynard's season. Ah, okay. If you guys... That name sounds Follow. familiar. Yeah. You're following along. So, what? Um, you is this know, a he, real thing. Yes. He, this is really, really true. <laughs> so, uh, if. We but now we don't know if the bill passed. Well, but it was definitely proposed. Yes. So, Which for means now, there were lots of signatures and. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, for now, Ari probably wants to stay away from Minnesota for I'm a little thinking, bit, right? We I'm think? thinking. Yeah. First off, if you guys are having problems in Minnesota at this point, now you know why. Well, yeah, clearly. Yeah. I mean, I. I guess because you're lawmakers. <laughs> well, and that so he 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 broke up with the girl from Minnesota, and that's that's not even like the worst of it, according to Minnesota. So he did something else. Um, he actually proposed. Oh, um, to the other on girl live TV, yet yeah, to the runner-up. Oh, so it's like he embarrassed her, and therefore embarrassed the state, and yep. therefore what? they don't like him. So Minnesota's like. I mean, what's nah, better, boo. true love or he's Minnesota? Boy, I mean, bye. Minnesota's nice, but I guess it ain't nice they, enough no. for Ari to. No. Enjoy. Wow. No. Sorry, Ari. Oh, well. Sorry, Ari. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, my guy had a good reason. <laughs> so, apparently, a man rammed a stolen car into an airport terminal in Peoria, Illinois. Okay. All right. So, boarded an empty plane and then came out and threw a brick through the rear window of the squad car of the oh, county like deputy the who came to put a stop to it. Yes. Oh, oh mm-hmm. lovely. Well, okay. wait. So, he... He threw a brick through the cop car? Yes. Wait, after oh, he after he got on the plane. Yes. He got off after, the plane. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. After he got off the plane. But he so he he stole a car. Stole a car. He boarded an empty plane. Wait, wait, he rammed the stolen car. He rammed, rammed the stolen it car into, into an a airport terminal. Tor- terminal. Okay. Got on a plane. Then got on a plane. That nobody else was on. Then came he out was on of the flight. plane. Came off the flight and Hit threw the, a brick through the squad car of the deputy who oh, came to... Oh, that was to, coming to yeah, get him. Exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. why? What yeah, What was his... So, apparently... <laughs> <laughs> what was his purpose? <laughs> Thank you to the walking dead. He thought zombies oh were chasing him. So, I mean, it's a pretty good reason. There may or may not have been drugs involved in this incident. I'm thinking maybe. A yeah. bit? A little bit? I mean, typically, Maybe. I see zombies when I take a little peyote. <laughs> kidding. We do, I don't take drugs. <laughs> but if I did. Drugs are bad, okay? This is not okay. No. <laughs> I mean, I get it if he really thought. He, I guess he was going to get on the plane, fly away, and. He was going to Florida, is what he said. Oh, to get yeah. rid of, get away from the zombies, zombies. in Peoria, right, Illinois. Because apparently it's too hot in Florida to be a zombie. Oh. So I feel like. I would rather him have done all that running away from the zombies than like thought he was a zombie and tried to eat my face. Yeah. Or tried to eat somebody else's face. I mean, so if we're picking between the two, like I guess good good job, sir. <laughs> good choice. No. I not a good no. choice. Yeah, but out of the three of us, I would probably eat your face. It, it looks the best. That's it looks very edible. That doesn't I don't think it's feel that. good. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> it's the cheeks. I can't eat my own face. And Kenosha's is very chiseled, you know. I'm gonna walk around like this. There so you my go. cheeks don't look edible. <laughs> there you, go. You, you didn't you didn't get rid of them. Logan has the same cheeks. So he does. I he wanna does. eat his cheeks. Oh my too. gosh. So he speaking does. of Logan and speaking of like people being edible, I bought this new stuff for my hair. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's looking pretty good today. So but I he saw me like spraying it in my hair. He's like, Mommy, I want some. So I sprayed it. He was like, Mmm, that smells, that smells good. good. And I was like, what does it smell like? And he goes, Smell my head. And I went like that and smelled it. And he's like, I smell like a marshmallow, don't I? Oh <laughs> like you do. I didn't know marshmallows had a smell. They well they they made up one for it. I think they made up one for it. Marshmallow flavored stuff has like a 
Oh yeah, cotton candy ish. I mean, if you ask my dog, if you make Rice Krispies, Monkey could be like three doors down, and he's coming. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. What's that? Yeah. You made me a snack. You made Rice Krispies. Oh, we love your monkey. dog is greedy. He can smell food. They all can though. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's just like my husband. He's only <laughs> nice to you when you have food. Yeah. Well, you know. In the, um, I guess, it, 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 to be appreciative of this previous guy. I mean. Him trying to, I guess, you know, get on a plane to get away. Flee the scene with the gangster lean. Yeah. Um, this next one yes. <laughs> just, you know, wants to get off of the plane. So, uh she is basically really upset about maybe what happened, and she doesn't think anybody can tell her what to do. So uh, a woman who basically got on a plane in New Jersey, in Newark. This is a very large oh, airport. airport yeah. Right? Yeah. We all know this. It's like one tiny. of the busiest airports in the nation, if not the world. Yep. Um, and she realized she was on the wrong flight. Of course she does. Not that that hasn't happened. Oh, no. That has happened to people before. It doesn't happen too often only because, because you have I'm a to scan yeah. the boarding pass. You yeah. have to scan it and, you know, so, but I know I have seen scanners just kind of, you know. Not working. Yeah. Or, yep. And so, the, you know, they're scanning so quick. So they scan the person in mm-hmm. front of you. They scan the person behind. They scan you. But maybe they're hearing the beep from the person that they just scanned in front of just you. Just moving so, too fast. Yeah. Moving too fast. Um, because I'm sure that could have been avoided if that was probably done correctly. However, mm-hmm. she realized that she was on the wrong flight. And instead of saying, um, excuse me, flight attendant, I'm not supposed to be on this flight, um, which probably would have been the better thing to do because yep. they could have checked her, you know, thing ticket and, and her ticket and said, oh, yes. Flight. Well, yeah. they weren't even going anywhere oh, yet. Yeah. Oh, my so, gosh. They okay. weren't moving. They were still Finch. at the gate, right? But instead... She decided to take it upon herself and correct the problem. How, you ask? Well, she decided that she would just open the emergency exit door on her own. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, when you open that, once the plane, you don't have to be moving, but once the plane is is on <laughs> and in, 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 in its process of getting ready to back up and taxi off, mm-hmm. um, all the different sensors and things are, are turned uh-huh. on and mm-hmm. ready to go. So when she opened the emergency door to do that exit, then of course the inflatable slide <laughs> came out onto the tarmac. <laughs> Well, you know, all I can say is I wish I was sitting next to her because I would have gone down just to be like, oh, got to go down this way. So, yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's one way to uh, handle it. She said, don't tell me I can't get off this plane. Basically, she was like, I'm getting off and I'm getting off right now. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's such an extra way to get off an airplane. I kind of like it. I do. (laughs) That is boss. Peace out, (laughs) y'all. I'm going down the slide. Well, Mm -hmm. they didn't say what happened afterwards. Yeah. It probably didn't go well. (laughs) They probably detained her in that little room when your Absolutely. baggage yes. don't go the way it's supposed to yes. go for yes. hours and hours and yes. hours. So I'm sure that was very this good. This next one I think is my favorite story. This but is probably, close to home. Exactly. Because it happened in my backyard and I work out in one Loudon <laughs> every day in Ashburn, Virginia. Oh my gosh. And I missed it. And I'm so upset that I missed this because I'm always trying to convince Jay. Like, I'm like, we should go to, you know, one of those nude beaches. And he's like, no, I don't want to go. And I'm like, well, I do. What's wrong with them? So doesn't want to go either. We were born naked. We should just go. Well, we'd probably cause a stir, but we should go anyway. Why not? So anyways. Hello, everybody. Exactly. So (laughs) March 4th. Shoppers, diners, and strollers at One Loudon. It was this was a Sunday. Yeah. Were either treated to or subjected to, depending on your viewpoint, a fully <laughs> naked couple walking hand in hand through the development. <laughs> Calls regarding the apparent nudist came into the Loudon County Sheriff's Office beginning around three fifteen p.m. and they didn't actually locate the couple at One Loudon. Yes. But about an hour later, <laughs> they found two people in the buff at a hotel. <laughs> So, Wait, in it or outside of it? At a hotel. It oh, just, they say, were just there. Yeah, oh. yeah, it doesn't say what they were doing. Oh, interesting. I mean, they must have been outside because if they were in their room, they wouldn't have Okay, so wait. Them. So, okay, this was, you said it was on the 4th. Yeah. So. This is Sunday. It was cold. It was, oh, it was, it was, <laughs> it was so <laughs> very cold. Yeah. It was yeah. bucket naked. Like, so cold. So they did get arrested and they were at the hotel. They did get arrested. They were charged with indecent exposure 
And they were put in jail and one of them bonded out. The other one actually didn't, but they were a couple. Oh my gosh. Wait, but one got bonded is, and the other yeah, one... <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Maybe okay. the other one just wanted to stay. Uh, well, the, the other one may have had some other stuff going on. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But the yeah. crazy thing is, is, they wouldn't ever say why they were walking around naked. And they weren't like running, streaking. They were no, just they were like walking, holding hands. Yeah, like, like just casually chilling on a date naked. With their balls and their booties out. Have you guys ever had a naked date? <laughs> Not outside. <laughs> what about inside? If you see, have you, did you see the actual picture? Yeah. It got circulated yes. on local social media and it was like just booty cheeks, a two pair of cheeks. I mean, I'm sorry, but I, my it's got like be a outside. Little, it was really cold outside. It, I'm sorry, I'm just stuck on that. I'm the like, fact that it's cold. I'm just like, I know, I need a coat. How like, right. exhilarating though. Let alone I mean, as like, long as clothes. like my makeup and my hair looks good, I would like a naked date. Makeup and hair was not good. I, it wasn't. No, they, no, I mean they weren't like the most. Like they wasn't like coming from lifting weights naked, it's like gl- sweat glistening. Oil, no, not it no. wasn't like that. No. But they didn't look bad naked. No. I mean they didn't look. They were naked. They yeah, right. outside. But it, yeah, mm-hmm. I can't. They look okay. like naked people. No, they don't did. do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, don't do it. But DMV. if you do it, make sure you get a lot of photos. Yeah. <laughs> you will and get a lot of photos. Why. If you're gonna be last... naked outside, like people deserve to know what's going on in your mind. So you if say, you get arrested you say and they naked, weird. Naked. Yeah. Bucket like naked. 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 We're Midwesterners. Oh. I'm from the South. Naked. That's that's what it is. Naked. It was naked. We say all of our consonants and vowels. I don't always well. use my, <laughs> use my education when I speak. I, it's just the dialect. Sometimes it's I like, feel like I'm talking at home. <laughs> well, no, it's Michigan. We don't say the end of our words. So a lot of times when I use speak to text, it's like, mm-hmm. it, it's not right. It what, like the out. end of what? Like, like pitchfork. Like pitchfork. Pitch I don't say folk? the K. Oh. I say pitchfork. Pitch Pitch folk. Okay. But you already, you you hear the K because you know it's supposed to be there. You know it's there. there. But I don't actually say the K. I'm I'm just, like, you missed the R also. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, my yeah. goodness. We have one more uh, random read. Oh, yes. I'm okay. ready. Oh. So this, <laughs> this dude, Kenneth. I would have been so mad. Kenneth got some deep pockets because Kenneth got drunk and took a $1,600 Uber ride from West Virginia to New Jersey last week. How is that possible? It's totally possible. Well, okay, wait. You did say he was drunk. Yeah, he but needed a lift. I mean, or I guess an Uber. He probably slept the whole way. So he partied with his friends uh, near West Virginia University, and then he decided to order an Uber XL. Not just an Uber. An a XL. more expensive Uber. To his home. Which was over 300 miles away. Um, in New Jersey. In New Jersey. <laughs> and um, So wait, but the Uber driver wasn't like, are you sure this is where you want to go? The Uber driver was like, $1,600, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I don't know, as an I Uber driver, know. when I... <sighs> well, wait, but with Uber, your your credit card is already in the system. Yeah, so no money exchange hands or anything, but I, who knows if the Uber driver was like, dude, you sure? And the guy was like, take right. me to my home. Well, he, he was said drunk. he passed out, though. I mean, oh, he passed out in the car? Yeah. yeah. Well, he blacked so out. They, so I guess the news picked the story up, and they did ask him, you know, what yeah, happened. Later. He kind of was like, I don't really remember doing that. Oh, man. You well, think he can get a refund? No. no. Uber doesn't hey, get Uber, you want refund? refunds. He should have took Lyft. Mm-hmm. Lyft is if so much a, nicer. If you want a refund, he should have took Lyft. Can we just say that? And the Lyft drivers more, I guess nine times out of ten, make more money than Uber, too. So sorry, Uber. I, yeah. I use Lyft more. The I, drivers I, are nicer. Their I cars are I think they would have been like, no, I'm not driving there. Right. They would have mm-hmm. maybe, you know, called a friend or something. Something. Helped you out. Mm-hmm. So, so, the guy, so Kenneth, real quick. So yes. they interviewed him and he wow. said, basically, I just kind of blacked out. Last thing I remember was being at the bar and then I just woke up in the Uber next to an old dude telling me I was an hour from New Jersey. What the Why heck? was he next to an old dude? The driver, That's I the guess, driver. was old. Oh, I was like, I thought there was a guy sitting next to him. I was like, did he take someone home from the bar? No, that would Uber pool. No. No. Uber XL, he was by himself. Maybe the driver put him in the front seat so he could kind of like watch. Him. No, I, I can't I ever know. do Uber pool for the weird random fact that what if someone actually you're right was in there with me. Yeah, Mm-mm. okay, that's the, that's the point. So you guys else. don't get drunk and order an Uber, especially if you live or do, or, or let us know, or try it. to rob a bank in a cab. Don't do that. <laughs>
Or, um, or walk around to, naked with your try boyfriend. Try to steal an airplane. Just for a stroll, you know. Or You're you telling might... them not to. I'm telling them to do it because I love these stories. Well, well, if they do, we can talk about them. Yeah, yeah. and you'll be a <laughs> on part a random of our, recap. Yeah, yeah, our <laughs> weekly randomness right here on, uh, on Good Things. So uh, we'll have more for you in just a minute. Come right back. We need a little break. We do. <laughs> good thing so as you can see we have our we got balls fun toys we do we have we have, we have three <laughs> what's wrong with me <laughs> we're, we're, uh, this one here this one here i would not ask that question brett because <laughs> <laughs> we could be here all day all day it. all day long. all night but it is uh oh. we are oh not to interrupt you yes. but i have to tell you that this one over here i'm behind her on the way in today. oh my gosh we couldn't ride together <laughs> no you can't tell i'm telling she drove through a red light it was an accident the light in front of me turned green, and I thought and it was mine. Went. And then I looked behind it's me, okay. and everyone behind me was still stopped. <laughs> I can see Leia's probably in the back like this. Oh, my gosh. I was like, get off your phone. Well, Pay we, attention. Well, okay, so she said get off your phone, but what was I on the phone doing? She was talking, talking to Talking to her. She was driving right behind me, and I'm on the phone talking to her. See? Yeah, these Sorry. two. Now she gonna I, that's okay. I've, I've witnessed it myself, so yeah. I'm not surprised at all. However, Sorry. some of you might be surprised as the uh, NCAA uh, March Madness tournament has kicked off, and uh, there's already been a few upsets. upsets. Definitely, yeah. um, and we're only in round two. We're not even done with round two. We're in like the first part of round two. Mm -hmm. The conclusion of round two would happen actually uh, all day today and this evening. Mm -hmm. But um, so round one has taken place last week. Yeah. Yep. And um, first big upset, I know one of the biggest upset, which is a historical upset, was uh, UMBC, University of Maryland, um, Baltimore, Columbia, this. Baltimore County, uh, upset and won over the number one seed, Virginia. Um, and that was actually, I sat and watched the game. Uh, Did UMBC they cry? won the game, you upset. Virginia, mm. yes. Oh, I'm sure they um, died. And Syl was so excited because UMBC <laughs> is his undergrad alma mater. Aww, and so he was like, is this happening for real? And Go so... This was it was it was definitely a Cinderella story, definitely. Um, but I will say I watched the game and they played, they balled, and so they definitely deserved that win. Yeah. Um, it was pretty much I think the score. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was it was definitely I think it, at least twenty points, if not yeah, just I thought under it was twenty like points. Seventy three to fifty three. Yeah, 20 point. Ow, yeah, 20 look point. At that. There you go. See? You were watching the game. Oh, was it? <laughs> but it was reported. So, congratulations to them, but also congratulations to um, Kentucky, who uh, definitely uh, won over Buffalo, which was actually predicted. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have now another upset was Loyola, Chicago, uh, trumping Tennessee. And so, that was another pretty large upset um, mm. in uh, basically round two of the. Um, uh, 
uh, I'm sorry, in round one of the uh, NCAA tournament. And then we also have, of course, Gonzaga um, over Ohio State. And we have I hate Michigan. That name. Yeah, Michigan State. <laughs> Michigan over uh, Houston. And so uh, those, some of those were kind of predicted. Um, if you are filling out your brackets and uh, keeping up with them, I know some of you probably are already got some uh, distorted brackets. Already knocked out. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I had every intention to watch the Michigan State game, but I was so tired on Friday. I went to bed at 7 o'clock. And You're my husband done. was like, uh, Hello? you know it's 7 o'clock. I was like, I'm done. I Grandma I'm done. Leia. Mm-mm. It's okay. It's all right. I have no shame. It's okay. Cause I, and it's good, though. You listen to your body. That's what you're supposed to do. Yep. Workouts are killing me. You're getting ready. It's okay. It's all right. You, sure. You'll deserve the rest afterwards. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the, they'll let me later. eat again for now every time i'm hungry they're like just take a deep breath Leia. it'll all be over we soon <laughs> we'll have we'll have the show right afterwards and we'll have like a whole like spread up here i'm just gonna eat while you guys talk there on you, that go. Show. Oh, <laughs> you can nod and just say mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well we also have um advancing after the second round uh villanova over alabama and uh, which again was kind of a prediction. Uh, we have uh, Texas Tech over Florida and Kansas, of course, yeah, um, over Seton Hall. So uh, those are really no uh, no surprise. And I am a long time um, fan of the Blue Devils. So of course we have Duke over Rhode Go Island. Blue. Go Blue Devils. Go Coach ah, K. And uh, I, I can't. I, know. I can't I'm with sorry. Duke. I'm sorry. I have been a Duke fan since Grant Hill, and uh, you know, I know. the. The I wish I could Kentucky. jump on board. I can't. I can't. But I mean, it's kind of like when we lived in Kansas City, right? Mm-hmm. It was like the Jayhawks and then right. Kansas. It, right. it was It was not yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, the whole city shuts down when yeah. the Jayhawks play. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, you can't go in anywhere. And if you're wearing the wrong color. Yeah. Lord. My uncle and my aunt are Jayhawk. They went to Kansas. Um, they Their kids eat, sleep, breathe Jayhawks. Um, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so I know. It is truly a following. Yeah. yeah. In about 10 years, I'll need to understand what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but right now. No, she will. Because all... Jace. Oh, Jason and probably play. Logan, not too far behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I don't. Gonna play. I think Logan's going to be like a dancer or something. I don't think he's going to be a basketball player. I don't know. I, he I might think do he's football. Play football or, because I he likes. Oh well, yeah, because he. People. I, I well, see that. And because he is like a thousand pounds a of stocky. Little, he's yeah. holy molasses. Yeah. You go he's to like pick him up. He's like one ball of muscle. But that's how little that's still how silly is. Too. Yeah. He is too. I don't know you where you go to pick him up. They look so small, and I like fell over. Throw out your back, and you don't mean to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, it was basically like there was a guy behind me that was like, "Hey." Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> sure don't. Let me help you out. <laughs> no. Apparently, I'm not lifting anything at the gym because no. I can't lift up these two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, they, they are definitely um, a little surprising. I always try to warn people. I'm like, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't yeah. even try. Don't yeah. reach for them unless you lift. Right. Don't don't think that it I is. I always what sit it is. down first. Come sit lift on the Lift with your knees. <laughs> <laughs> Let them climb up to you. Yeah. That's a little bit better. That way. is what happened when I tried to pick up Britt, though, too. We must get it from her. I fell over. <laughs> Wouldn't you try to she pick looks me like up? Bit of nothing. Carlisle. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I did fall over. <laughs> we had a lot of fun at Carlisle. Yeah, yeah. And I've picked up Jay before. There's, I, there's a, picture a picture of, of you. It. Yeah. yeah. See how well we know each other. We're like, oh yeah. my gosh. We've seen it. We've All seen it. All two hundred and thirty. We're going to have to show that. That's a big boy. We're going to show that. Yeah, yeah, we're going to show that. Well, I hope that we've helped you kind of get a little bit up to date. There are uh, games happening this evening um, that will wrap up the um, round two of the finals. And uh, we will, I think, at that point in time, advance to the... Are we at the Sweet, Sweet 16, 16 at that point in time? So we'll be advancing yeah, to the that. Sweet 16 after tonight. And so uh, we'll help you keep abreast of what is going on. And uh, So how many more weeks until wives get their husbands back? Right. For this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, is, when is this over? So you have Sweet 16, mm-hmm. and then you have, um, we the, have a date. <laughs> the final, or not the final eight, but the, uh, what's it called, Jay? Sweet 16. And Sweet then 16 the, and then something eight. Elite, Elite eight. eight, thank you. Final, final four, four. I know and that then one. the championship. So I can remember the eight one. I start watching it's at the final four. When? What date? Well, let's see. <laughs> it's this month, right? It's all well. All okay, of month. all right. Of March. It's pretty much all of March, and so um, oh, the, is the championship still in March? The championship is April second, right? I thought, yeah. April second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you guys are just kind of trying to uh, see if you're still in that pool or not, um, I, I know a lot of you probably are 
no longer. However, uh, those of you who made those mm-hmm. risky choices, totally maybe? predicted Loyola. Like, oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Jay was I mad about Virginia. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I know that pretty much. I was looking uh-huh. at um, uh, Barack Obama's. Uh, oh, his, yeah, because yeah. he did a, a bracket, too. Yeah, his is destroyed, too. And he was like, <laughs> just because I'm not president, don't think that my, my picks are going to be any better yeah yeah because i got time on my hands right. now or no. something and they weren't they weren't any better <laughs> no. but you know hey it is what it is but uh we hope this helped you out and we'll have more good things when we return Welcome back. Okay, this is one of my favorite, favorite segments that we do because we're talking about our favorite things right now. So we Well, and we hope that these things maybe are something that you haven't heard about. Yeah. Yeah. That Mm -hmm. might help you out. It's good for us. I feel like we have a very wide array of plethora of things. None of ours are similar today. No. They never <laughs> um, except for Kenosha and I both have something you put on your skin. Yes. But other than that, we're all across the board, which is great because yeah. I think they're all awesome products, um, especially with spring coming. Sometimes you have to change things up. Yep. And I think you're starting us off, right? No, um, you are. I am. I think you are. All right. I'm going first. Yeah. No. So <laughs> this I love. So this? I'm a Let's big see. proponent of knowing what's what you're putting in your skin, basically, yes. because your skin is actually your largest yep. organ. organ. Organ, thank you. That's just true. You just, you, people are always conscious of what they put inside their body, but sometimes they don't really think about all of the chemicals in the makeup, the moisturizers, the shampoos, the conditioner, the body all of washes. That, the body washes, yeah. Yeah. all of that yeah. goes in. So th- there's a couple of reasons why I love this. This is called a cure. Yeah. So this is fragrance free. Um, there's no parabens, yeah. no sulfites, cruelty-free, no. vegan, which you know I love. <laughs> and the great thing about this is, so most women have husbands who will be like, my back's dry, my shoulders are dry. Well, they don't want to smell like a kiwi. Right. This is perfect for them. It's not oily. Jay loves it. He doesn't smell like a Fruit Loop after I put it on. <laughs> Fruit Loop. Um, okay. So it really is my new favorite lotion. And I've actually, they have skincare products as well. They have face washes. They have body washes. Nice. Um, face moisturizers. And, you know, it's a really good organic, cruelty-free, vegan yeah. product. Nice. So nice. I nice. love love all their stuff. A cure is a cure. amazing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Well, and to piggyback, so going from the body, and that can be put on the face as well, but going to the face, one of my favorite kind of uh, newer finds, I guess, Ooh, if you will, I is, like uh, yeah, it's velvet. called, uh, it's from Urban Decay, and it's called the Velvetizer, and um, it has really two purposes, which mm-hmm. I think is nice, and if you're like me, um, I have oily skin can I open it and all smell over, it? you can, Um not just T zone, but all over. And even um, I smell. when I don't, it doesn't really have a smell. It's too. got a very light yeah. scent. It's a powder. It's I wasn't, a powder. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't but, sure what it was inside. Yeah, but the cool thing about this powder is that know, it smells like Pizza Hut to me. It smells delicious. <laughs> She's hungry. I am hungry. She's so hungry. <laughs> But if you haven't heard of this, basically what it does is you can use it. It's kind of like a translucent powder. You can use it on top of your face after makeup as a setting powder um, or something to mattify your your face. Mm -hmm. Um, But one of the coolest... Mattify, I like that word. Mattify. Mattify. Um, One of the coolest uses, though, is that you can take this powder and you can actually mix a little bit into your foundation, into your liquid foundation. Oh. That will actually help it to become more more of a matte foundation oh wow so you can do kind of two ways and uh, which is nice because then you basically um infuse a oil absorbing property into your uh into your into your liquid foundation that's pretty cool yeah Mm -hmm. so that way you have something acting and you don't have to constantly be blotting or putting on additional things i really hate layers oh my gosh you feel so cakey by the end of the day yes yes yes. you're like how did my face go from well and especially when you're doing something like this and you're kind of in production Mm -hmm. there's lights and things like that um you know you do want to make sure that you're not too much but at any time you're taking photos yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. but you don't want to have like three layers of powder on top of the foundation because you keep having to blot right so um so yeah so this is one of my favorite things the velvetizer the velvetizer urban decay yeah and coincidentally it is velvet around it (laughs) it's velvet on the that's pretty cool if you're like me and you're a big fan of things you're able to touch (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what you got for us okay so kind of along the lines of you know talking about the body yeah i'm so excited about this let me bring this over here <sighs> wear high heels four times longer without pain mm-hmm. these things yes. are incredible so these are inserts to your shoes and i'm gonna I keep this protected. thing open oh they're not in here but you would open it up and they'd be like on the inside and the the thing that makes these really really cool is most inserts insoles i guess um so what's so every woman their common problem is what part of their foot the balls of the feet right, when you right. wear heels yeah. that's what bothers you most when you wear a lot of high heels especially and for so, an extended period of time right yeah. exactly and so what a lot of insoles do is they will pad that part of the foot to help kind of cushion that pain that you feel what these insoles do they actually go on the on the heel right there. of oh, the yes. foot and they can you zoom in there jay i don't know if on you this can, little right here this guy right here this him yeah yep that there they are. Cool. So they so, they look tiny. Yeah. And but what it does here's is here's the science kind of behind it. It repositions the foot so that the ball of the foot is not taking on the impact when you're walking but rather the heel of your foot which is designed to support the weight of your body. Right. Yes. So these are awesome. Actually, Leigh, you've tested these out too and they feel I am always looking especially with the pageant coming up because last year near the end of the pageant, I was pretty convinced my feet were going to fall off and shrivel up and die. (laughs) (laughs) And I actually, coincidentally, didn't bring any other shoes for the after party last year, so I wore my snow boots underneath my (laughs) evening gown. And it was the best decision I've ever made. It was probably the best decision for your feet, too. Yeah. Um, Now, where can people find this? Did they order it online? So y'all know I got to get my cloud feet, my keep my cloud feet, but it's Vivian Lou. So if you go to VivianLou.com. Okay. Or Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime. Or Amazon for Amazon Prime. Okay. And I will say these aren't the cheapest, however. But you can you use get them. what you yes. pay for. Okay. You get what you pay for. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay. So if you if you want something that's not just going to pad the problem, but actually alleviate right. the problem mm-hmm. and this alleviate is, the this pain. This is the way to go. Vivian Lou, And this will actually help decrease a lot of women start to get bunions on their feet yes. Ooh. from their foot being in that position right. too long. You know, yeah. my feet don't know nothing about a bunion. Oh my gosh. Well, don't even talk to me about your feet. Well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go into something, but let's go into your next one because I really want to hear about these. Okay. So Sophie's Secrets. Ooh. So I was just... I hadn't always done this, but you never really think about it. 
Every time your pet goes outside and goes to the bathroom and comes back inside, I mean, especially if they sleep with you, you should really yeah. be wiping off their feet every single time. Yeah, unless you and put shoes on them, which most people don't. Correct. Yeah. My dog and some would, dogs don't like would it. Hate me. Yeah. yeah. So these are PETA approved, which is amazing, cruelty free, and vegan. You know me. Um, and they're made with chamomile extract, um, green tea, aloe, lavender. They're really, really oh, nice. Nice. I mean, and they come in a huge package. Ooh, they they smell fresh. good. Yeah, oh, yeah, and they're very gentle. And my dog knows now. Every time he mm. comes inside, he lifts up his little foot, and then he does the other one, and, <laughs> and he's ready to go. He's ready to go. And I what? like they come in like down. a pack of a hundred, not not like twenty. So it's like you've got yes. enough to like hold you for a little bit. Yes, that's nice. And you get those from where again? You get Amazon Prime all <laughs> Amazon day long. Amazon Prime. At Amazon Prime. <laughs> and you can know, you tell we're the fans. biggest thing that people don't when you let your dog sleep in your bed? I mean, he is. Stepping on poop outside at right. some point right. in his day. Right. So, that means you're well, and even the allergens and things that are outside. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, things if you have grass. a husband or kids that are allergic to grass and he's touching grass and then coming in and stepping on their pillows and their blankets and there all that go. stuff. It's Climbing really, on the really couches and all yeah. that stuff. Yep. Yeah. It's important. I mean, when you have a lighter couch, yeah. if you even a little it, bit true. of mud, yeah. You're going to see it, and especially mm-hmm. over time. Yes. Yep. Well, thank you, Amazon Prime, for this. I think I'll be getting these for my two fur babies. They're amazing. Can't wait, can't wait. Well, my last one is actually something that I wasn't super familiar with, um, just because I'm not a huge technology buff. <laughs> but um, you know, you and me both. <laughs> it had this I'm one. I'm trying is. to get them there, y'all. She, she yeah. is. She's working on us. <laughs> um, but I've actually been using this app um, a lot recently. With as I said, my daughter's in Ghana right now, and um, you know, we have international calling on her phone. But I think from Ghana, it's 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 not too bad. It's about fifty cents a minute. Um, and so, you know, but, you know, for voice calling and things like that. However, um, if you're not familiar, there is an app called What's App. And yes. WhatsApp is really great because it is something where you can use it to message, but you can also use it to make phone calls. And the phone calls are free. Um, mm-hmm. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Oh, nice. <laughs> and so it can be very helpful, especially when um, you're just trying to either keep up, not well, with one person or with a mm-hmm. lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and it really helps. And you can also um, connect people, you know, more than, more than just one at a time. And so it's a really... It's like a group chat or group Uh call function. Mm -hmm. You can do that as well. And so it makes things a lot easier and uh, to communicate. And you don't have to worry about as much because most places you're, when it comes to like internet and things like that, you don't have to really be too concerned. There's some sort of internet carrier, Wi-Fi, things like that. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes, you know, calling signals based upon your provider can be a little sketchy depending Mm -hmm. on where you are. So Mm -hmm. um, this kind of helps to alleviate that, especially if you're having any of those problems. So I really like it. So check it out. WhatsApp. Yeah, what, WhatsApp. Okay. Random yeah. question. Have you guys ever tried to use the Facebook app to make a phone call? Yes. I had someone call me on Facebook the other day and I was like, what? My yeah. sister does that all the time because I have an iPhone and she doesn't. So she'll want to be able to see her nephews and I'll want to be able to see, you know, my niece. So she will actually. I had no idea. You Facebook could. Messenger yeah. video call me. Yeah. And that's I used to get a lot of them by accident from people, which was really like, because <laughs> I couldn't tell what, what I missed. I was like, did, did I miss a phone call? I'm not 100% sure. My favorite is, is I was, you know, you guys were helping me uh, pick out swimsuits this week. And I called my girlfriend, Jamie, and I was like, hey, it was 6 a.m. And I said, <laughs> I said, FaceTime me. She said, okay. So she FaceTimes and I'm texting her. I'm like, you didn't FaceTime me. Where are you? She goes, Oh my gosh, a guy answered your phone. And I said, I just started dying laughing because I oh. had to give up my work phone. Yes. And so my mom has called the same guy and he answers every time for and my He's like, people. hello. And no, he's talking to him. He's like, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, you call it the lab? <laughs> Still not her phone. <laughs> But I'm Still happy somebody to else. You. Right, right, right. Oh my goodness. Well, what's your last one that you've got here? So my last one is in the realm of technology as well. Mm-hmm. It's an app. It's actually uh, two different types of apps. And so I'm in my car a lot for work. And also I'm just, you know, like working on being a better me. And <laughs> yes. so I do a lot of audiobooks now. Oh. And Leia sent me one through Audible. It's called oh, yes, the Power of Vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Audible is an Amazon company, so it's mm-hmm. an app that allows you to listen to audiobooks, kind of, you know, wherever yeah. you are. Yes. But there's a free version of Audible, and it's, um, I think they contract with different libraries. So I'm in Loudoun County, 
Loudoun County Library oh, yeah. supports mm-hmm. Hoopla. Yes. But Hoopla is a free app where you can listen to audiobooks yes. from your phone. Yeah. I, free digital I, video, yeah. music, all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can get uh, with your movies, library card. With your library card. And so wow. uh, the, the book that I'm currently listening to, which is this is like my second or third time listening to it, but I get something from it every single time. It's uh, Jen Sincero's You Are a Badass. Ah. And yes, so I have that book at home. So yeah. there's a quote on our IG that I just took from her. I tagged you in it, Jen, so don't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> but it says, uh, so often we think that we have made a decision when all we've done is sign up to try until it gets too uncomfortable. There you go. So mm-hmm. it's full of little nuggets like that. But it's, I mean, sitting in traffic or just being in the car, being away from the family. Like yeah. I like being able to just develop myself and, yeah. and improve. It's a good way to do it too. It's yeah. such a good way. You know, I, I try to start my day. So when I'm getting ready in the morning, that's when I try and listen to my audible books or, you know, whatever growing right. book I'm listening. Yeah. 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 And I just think you start out so great. Mm-hmm. You yeah. learn something. It's, a, it's an positive. uplifting. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it makes you go through your day, you know, with a, a, a forward thought process. Yeah. Yes. Positive yeah. outlook. Positive and, outlook. Mm-hmm. I really wish that somebody would have introduced me to like Hoopla and Audible. I don't even know if they were around, but like when I was yeah. in my 20s. Yeah. That would have been really great to have. Well, speaking of a positive outlook, I think we're going to wrap up the show today. I was um, actually on Twitter um, a little bit over the weekend, mainly because I was, you know, stalking the Ghana trip but uh, <laughs> right. at least you're honest you know um but hashtag mom life yes. hashtag mom life and uh, <laughs> but I ran across I guess a trending hashtag on Twitter, and I think this is something that we can all think about and uh, while you're thinking about it you know over the next week or two you know go on to Facebook uh or Twitter or even Instagram at, or our website or our website at goodthingsdc.com and our Twitter uh and Facebook is Good Things DC and our our, um, Instagram, Instagram is Good Things DC Show, as well as YouTube. But let us know your thoughts on this, and we'll let you know our thoughts on this, and we'll kind of uh, key in, you know, maybe some of our thoughts from time to time. But the hashtag that is trending on Twitter right now is if social media disappeared. So, you know, we're in the age of social media, obviously, mm-hmm. and uh, it wasn't we a rely part. On it. Yeah, it, it wasn't a part. You know. I'm with me and I know I'm aging myself, but you know, I mean, college was really the boom of just the internet for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and social media came around. So, you know, of course, um, like my daughter, who's a, you know, is soon to be a a college freshman and things like that. It's just a part of their life. Mm -hmm. Our son who's four, it's a part of his life period. But think about that. If social media disappeared, what do you think that that would mean to you? Would it be a positive thing or a negative thing? Um, Share your thoughts on that. And I, I, I would be interested for us to share our thoughts with you on that as I well. I think that'll be an, an Check real... our IG this week. I think there may be some videos popping up. All right. We'll <laughs> see that. But it's been a really great week. It's so been a fun. really great show. Mm-hmm. Um, again, as I stated earlier, we will be gone live for a couple mm-hmm. of weeks. So uh, this will be your opportunity to, to catch, catch up, up. <laughs> and uh, catch up on the new season of Good Things. And uh, check us out again on YouTube. At subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube yeah. channel. I, absolutely. Good Things DC Show. Um, check us out on Facebook at Good Things DC as mm-hmm. well as on Twitter. And then you can also check us out on Instagram at Good Things DC Show. And of course, on the website <laughs> at GoodThingsDC.com. So we want everyone to have a amazing prosperous and uh, Mm -hmm. purposeful week. And uh, remember, as always, love one another. Always be kind. And do good things. See you guys later. Bye.